everyone, it's Tails from Studio Wildfare here. I thought I would take a moment and show you the work that I've done on the new uh, Dungeon Map Tile 6 uh, package that I've been creating artwork for. So here I am in Foundry. Uh, I have just ported the artwork files over to a folder in the user data um, uh, folder in Foundry. I've just called it um, Map Tiles inside there because I put up multiple map tile packs in here eventually um, there's just one in there at the moment called map tile 6 so let's have a look so there are a number of folders now I'm using the image image or image or video browser to have a look inside the folder and that's this little icon just here uh, in your scene now I've just created a I've created a, a, a scene, a, like a blank scene in the background here. It's got 180 uh, pixels square for each grid square, and I've made it uh, 10, 10 pixel, uh, 10 grids, grid squares uh, by uh, um, width and depth. So let's just start out now. The the, the best way to start out building uh, maps with map tiles is to start because of the way that um, Foundry places each layer down as, as, as the lowest layer, then, it, then the next layer, then the next piece of artwork you place down will be placed above it. So always start with your ground, then move to your floor, then move to your walls, and then roof. So let's start with, let's just make a, a dirt, dirt floor entrance. So here's some dirt tiles, and they'll just, one great thing about, um, Using map tiles um, with the the uh, the grid correctly set, and I use I use a grid of 180 pixels. Um, is that they snap in place really quickly, which means you can just build stuff really, really fast. So there's just a dirt area, and then let's just say we have a. So this is the brick floor. And this is this is pretty much the layout I use for building uh, maps in pretty much any program. This could be Photoshop, GIMP. Um, this is Foundry Virtual Tabletop. It could be Fantasy Grounds, the what, whatever. I I have the the file browser. I sort of put it over to the side. Then I have the map out here. That way I can just drag and drop pretty quickly. So let's grab these stairs. So just the standard staircase. So. I've made like, um, so these are the full size step error. So this is sort of like the full size step. Um, so if you're building in like a, a whole staircase, you'd go, you know, up like this. But I'm just going to put a, so I've made just a partial staircase that you can use as sort of like a building entrance. So let's just put that there, put these on the side. So that will be our our entrance into our building. Now let's go back up. So here's our actual floor section. So let's say it comes into a corridor. There we go. Um, then it goes. So it goes through a corridor and goes to a room. Let's say this room's got a fancy edge to it. We'll use this one like this. Now this is just a case of finding the ones that match. That goes over that side. This one goes here. Yeah. Put a little square in the middle. Now I need that one goes there. Passageway just basically does both sides at once. Okay, dunk. We'd have a cornerstones for our entrance. So that would be our entrance there. Now let's make the. Uh, let's just use. 
just straight corners. There we go. That's the last D4. And that's it. Oops, I've already done the corners. Um, so let's just say we have a, a corridor go off each side. So we want a square section here. Our, our entrance to our building coming along. Let's um, go back up. There we go. So that's sort of that's our entrance. You know, a dirt area comes into an entrance. So I could go and put a door on there at the moment. So let's just make it come to run the room here. Is it back to whoops? Back to my brick floor. So let's just say it comes to a simple room. And there's no, no no decoration on the floor. small there we go now I've done the windows in two different ways so I've got the window with an already re rendered sort of highlight on the floor uh, to sort of show that the you know the lights coming through the window or I've got it as a as an overlay so if there's no you know if you want to go and put a window where you've already put some walls in like that you'd use just this overlay now the only downside to that is that you don't get the the highlight but you know, maybe that maybe that's um, not, not a problem if you're um, you know you're just quickly putting something together. But I'll put another one over there. Um, let's go back up and put in the walls of this room. Now this let's just give this room the angled corners. Say there's another room that could come off here. And, you know, do another room. Let's just make this one. Let's make the, use the curved wall. Okay. Well, actually, before I put the curved walls down, I probably should put down the floor. Brick floor. There we go. Now this is where. Where the so see how I've placed this tile first. If I put this one over the top of it, you'll see that it's blocking the one that's below it. So you have to right click and then use the little down arrow and it puts it below it. Now, don't worry about this bit peeking through behind it because once you put the um, uh, line of sight walls in, you won't see that that section. You know, the, the line of sight will get cut off around this curved wall. to the walls, I mean the rest of the floor. And 
and as you can see by how quickly I'm building this up, it's really easy to just sort of uh, quickly smash out a, a building for an adventure, uh, even while you're playing. So curved room done. Obviously, if you're putting in the outside walls, you pop them in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll put a I'll put a staircase here so I can test out the staircase blocks. Now, let's start with the floor once again. So I'll make the corridor come this way. in first because I've designed the the staircase tiles so that they act as overlays which I'll show you just now so if we're gonna start here so we want the staircase to go this way so and once again start with the lowest first so this will be the lowest over this side so you walk in here and you start to go up so next we want this one So that's the basis of her staircase. Now don't worry about the, the weird looking bit in the center here. The wall's going to cover that and it'll look perfectly fine. Now, let's go to our walls. I am going to use the five foot curved wall. So let's start to curve around here. second level. Now one thing I've added in in this set, uh, which I possibly will just make something free so that everybody can get access to it, are some fades. Now we're going to want this one. Oops, nope, that's the long size. We want the, we want the slightly smaller one. Oops. No, delete. That's the one we want. Okay. So turn it around and move it and plonk it down there. So that way I like to use white phase to give the idea that you know you're going up into another level. Uh, one thing you could also do is you could also use uh, the right size, yep. You could also use this black one. So if you but you'd want to put it underneath the walls, so you'd want to have the walls on top. Um, so you put that there and it shows that it's going down. That's that's how I like to treat it. Oh, and that should be down lower. This is where it gets to be a bit tricky. Working out what's on top of what. Missing. Oh, I think I've deleted the tile that should go there. Yep. Let's go back and grab it. So, uh, floor 
floor. Five foot staircase. And it's this one. It should be right there. And this curve should be on top. There we go. And then this should slot over the top. Although let's make certain it's it's on top. There we go. So once again, don't worry about the overlap because you're not going to see it once you put in the um, line of sight walls. So let's finish off. Finish off our walls. And let's grab that one. Put that there entrance or a doorway, cornerstones and doorways, that one, use the other side, just that one, do the same over to this side, there, oops, there, and, oh, I got the In a, a long staircase, and let's just say it's going down into the ground. So I'm going to put a wall here to close this up. Grab that one. There we go. Now, again, I'll start with my floor. Where is it? Uh, floor. There we go. Now, you're probably wondering why am I putting down a floor and then putting down the staircase on top of it? The reason for that being is that if you don't, uh, what's the staircase standard? So if you don't put um, the staircase down, or the, the base floor down first, you'll notice that there's a bit of floor missing. So if I just put this here, there we go. See how there's a bit of grey area here? That's the bit of transparent. That's the last floor. That's so that you can basically have it coming down. Let's just say you've got, you know different floor over here or a different level over here it could be coming down to a different tile set so instead of these tiles it's got another tile set say like the the original dungeon uh, map tile set um, it could be coming into that that way you can merge one set into another uh, but in this case around I'll have it go down into darkness here so where is the staircase standard yep. and that one so then if we go and grab our phase so this is where putting the black down, you want to put the black down um, before it. And maybe I'll, I'll go so I can actually read the, because read the, the straight section, so I've got, for example, black straight one is just one square. Two is just two squares. So what I want is, uh, oh, the two could probably do it. Ways. Put our dead end because that's where you know it's going down into, and then just fill that in. Uh, now we want to go to have some corners. Dunk. Dunk. Actually, I'll go back to the size. Uh, so we'll put a, a turn in here, and we'll put a final corner piece. This one here. So let's put a put a corner. 
want a stone. So we want this one here. And we want this one here. And this one here. And that is that's a quick little building. So let's you know let's okay, so that's the that's the map tiles out of the way. Let's so I'll put some lights in. So we'll have a so we'll have a light here. Lighting this room. Actually makes it let's make it uh, let's darken the darken the map up. So we can see what our, our lights are going to look like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So we have like a so we'll make this one. That's our, that's our map. Pretty, pretty quick, easy to do. Uh, the next thing you would go and do is you would put in, you know, your line of sight walls. But that's that's pretty easy to do. Just follow, follow the edges of the grid. Uh, the only bit where it gets to be a little bit tricky is around these corner sections, and that's that's just a case of. are done and it'll look great thank you very much for watching um, i hope you like the uh, the map tile sets and they, they bring you much gaming fun thank you very much uh, don't forget to subscribe like and mash all those buttons thank you